you're gonna get wet, you're gonna get dirty. Hoses are spraying. Mud's gonna be flying all over the deck. The Mari is a 50-foot former Navy Swift vessel. She was in naval service all the way up through 1995. As far as we know, the Mari is the only operational Swift boat in the United States. Oceanography is the study of the oceans, but it's a lot more than that. Study of the chemistry of the oceans, the geology under the oceans, the organisms that live in the oceans, or the atmosphere above it. You think about it, it's almost a study of the Earth. It's a real narrow ledge. Somebody could fall in the water. A lot of them come into this not knowing that they're going to go to sea. Zero. We spend a month or two basically getting them mentally prepared to go. Make sure that you go through this checklist, just like that. Basically, it's a nice little instrument for collecting sediments on the bottom. See how fast that pops out? We show them the types of equipment they're going to use when they get on board. You got to put that in there, like so. Oh, okay. And hopefully that gets them ready so that when they show up, they'll be looking at it like it's a new experience. That's my second time actually being out on a boat. It's a different experience actually being there with the science crew. Flow meter count is 603. I just I thought that we were supposed to just sit inside the classroom and just learn all this stuff and I was going to have no clue and it was going to be a little bit difficult for me to learn it. Never in a million years did I think I'd be floating in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay taking bottom sediments. Now move it up. Right there. That's it. Okay. Now I need a couple of volunteers. The Mori activities are important for oceanography students. One, it gets them out on the water. And we can talk all the semester here in the classroom, but I think that if you get them outside, let them experience what oceanography really is. Nautical miles to the outside ring. Let them feel the salt spray, feel the heat, the cold. They get a much better appreciation for what oceanographers go through. And we try to create that experience when they're on board. Compass 285. Write that it makes it fun being able to experience it ourselves, grab the sand because you're not able to do that in the classroom. We get the experience of doing what they do out there. So you can actually go out there and say, you know, I've done this or I've done that. TCC's oceanography course is unique. There are not many colleges in the VCCS that offer oceanography. And I think we have a uniqueness in that we have a lot of equipment programs, studies that other colleges and universities would probably do on an upper graduate level. We can devote a lot of it right there to our first year students. Let's show them how it's done. 4.5 meter per second. The experiments the students conduct on a cruise are pretty varied. We went out to our station. We lowered the ponar bottom grab. It drops down, grabs some sediments from the bottom. We pull them up and we analyze the samples. Feel it, rub it between your fingers. Feel sandy, gritty, yes. or real smooth. You get to actually feel the things and actually know what they feel like as far as texture goes and how things move and what actually is out there. You got two worms and a clamshell. Write that down. I want all four of you pulling it in. After that, we were able to tow a plankton tow and an otter trawl. From those tows and trawls, we were able to collect specimens from the Chesapeake Bay, and we analyzed them as well once we brought them on board. More salt in the water, more density. Colder in the water, more density. We also dropped what we call an NIO bottle, and that basically gives you like your water chemistry. And from that, we're able to basically see how much salinity is in the water with a refractometer. It's 20 on the right. I think they got a lot more appreciation for what's on the bottom of Chesapeake Bay than they would have if they just looked at some slides in a classroom. I won't be able to look at the beach the same. I will be out there enjoying my beach mom experiences in the ocean. However, being out there, every time I look at the ocean, I'm going to think of all the things that we learned in this class, all the little organisms that actually live in the water. I'm going to start swimming with my mouth closed first off. Hopefully they get a better appreciation of the processes that interact on our planet. And a better appreciation for the environment and how we interact with it. 